Hey folks, in this video, we are going to take a look at how to add uh, categories to your gradebook. So as always, once you're in your course, you're going to come here to grades. And once you're in grades, this little drop down menu here where you see grader report, you're going to select that and you're going to go to gradebook setup. Once you're in gradebook setup, right up here, you have add grade item. That's if you want to add a column to your gradebook that doesn't reflect uh, something that's in Moodle, but something that's outside. Maybe it's a presentation they did in class or something else. So you can add that. And then you have add category. And this is if you break down your grades according to different types of categories. Maybe the categories are discussion, uh, papers, or presentation, or you know you have an assignment that has like three or four steps and you want it all in one category of like final project. So you're going to select add category. You're going to give it a name. In this case, I'm just going to call it a uh, special project. Why not? Uh, where it has aggregation, this is what you're thinking of. The grades within this category, how are they going to be aggregated? Are they mean of grades, meaning they're all the same and they're just averaged together? Uh, weighted mean of grades, so you want some to weigh more than others. And then natural, which is basically they're just a set of points. Um, so each assignment will have a set of points and those will just add up to their grade. Um, and this relates to whether you are doing percentages as a gradebook or if you're doing just a set amount of points for the gradebook. That set amount could be 100. I've seen people do it at 1,000, 2,000. I've seen some people do it as, you know, uh, 128 points. Uh, really, I would stick with multitudes of 100 because that's easier for students to often understand. Um, but that's the, the differences there. You can also place it um, on a, so you can come here to category total, kind of make sure everything lines up right, and then parent category. If you wanted this nestled in a subcategory, uh, in other words, you already have a category and this is going to be a subcategory, you can always adjust that. And then you hit save changes. So once you do all that, the category is going to be down here at the bottom, and it's going to be sitting here by itself until. Uh, Items get put into it. Now, there's two ways to put in items. One is you look at your gradebook, and maybe you see, oh, actually, this assignment and this assignment. See these little checkboxes? You want to select those, and then come down here and move those selected items to special project. When you do that, you're going to get this sign at the top that says, leaves, leaves the site. Um, are you sure you want to leave, right? You're going to get this and be like, wait, should I be? I, I don't know. The answer is yes. This is a weird thing that happens with Moodle that's saying, are you sure you want to you, you want to leave? And the answer is yes, you do. So you hit leave. It now has made those changes. And when we come down here, we can tell these are part of special project because they are now indented under this particular folder, right? And so that's the other way to, to tell is if something's in a category or not. Um, category or folder it uses a little folder icon. So that's why I say that. Um, so that's how you can change it there. There's another way you can change it, uh, change it, an assignments category. And that is if you happen to be in the assignment. Um, so I'm in this particular assignment and I hit settings. And under settings, if I come down to grade, uh, it has grade category. And this one is uncategorized. So I can actually put this into something. So maybe I will put also this into special project. And then I'll hit save and return to course. And now that item will be, if I go back to grades uh, and gradebook setup, I will see it has been moved. Uh, so that's how you do a category. Hopefully this is helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.